Well, Barry, welcome to Russo and Steel. Another year. Another year. Here Thursday, we are. Thursday morning, <laughs> first day of auction. We just finished up our gala last night, which was an absolute success. Yes. Okay. Now you have this anticipation. Anticipation is almost as good as the event. Everywhere you look, it's like then you see new launches that you've added. You know, uh, I thought it couldn't be any better, but here it is. And, uh, spectacular, spectacular. Everybody is so optimistic. Well, you, is that just us? Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's everybody coming. I mean, here's, we're gonna, we're gonna, you're a guy that's been coming to Scottsdale for what, 25 years? Oh, no, more like 35 years. 35 <laughs> years, okay, 35 years back. But when, when I was still in grade school and, and looking at the cars on in yeah, magazines. So yeah, you're, yeah. what do you think about the whole thing? Well, you know, for me, it's just, it's just unreal. It's been such a ride to grow up with the hobby. I mean, when the hobby started, essentially, I mean, the hobby started when the first car when the second car was made, I guess. But basically, late 40s when the hobby really took off. And um, we were such a small part of the population back in those days. You can see these outlaws and everything else. <laughs> it's just, car guys were Rock not, days yeah, when he was doing stuff in his garage. Car guys were not well respected, you know. Yeah. Now it's mainstream. The car guys are hard to turn on TV movies anymore without saying car guys have some expression. Well, that's what's amazing, and you guys have always been right front and center in all of the all of the mainstream, like you say, the car events, cutting edge technology, and, and the detailing part of the industry. I mean, I, I, I applaud you and how you've kept up with the market. We want to grow the hobby. I, I more than growing a business, I want to grow the hobby. You know, we've done this TV show, Car Crazy, and the whole purpose of it was that of that was to get more people into the hobby to recognize how great the people are in the car hobby and the, and the cars and the fun and the enthusiasm, the passion. Come on and join us and pass it down to the next generation. Get the kids coming up. That, we're seeing that happen mostly. So um, it's great. Well, your presence, you know, brings people in. All the events I go to around the country, right? you know, I do a lot. We see each other a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are always front and center, and you've always got a great, great uh, uh, marketing machine going on out there. How do you guys stay always on the front end? One step ahead of the competition. What do you do? Well, I don't know. Uh, our passion is products. You know, the gold work company is products. My dad. Uh, Start working with his dad. My granddad started the business in 1901. You're the third generation. I'm third generation. And when my dad was eight years old, he started working with his dad in formulations. He kept doing that until he was 80. So over 70 oh years, gosh. focused on making formulations. And then he trained our current chemist, and head of uh, R&D. I've worked in the lab throughout all those years. I understand it well. I, I don't spend a lot of time in the lab either. The minutia, and I want to see people. <laughs> you're, the, you're the sales but, guy. But, I, but I'm, I know enough to be dangerous. You're and, not. and I always tell the whole company, the goal of our company is products. But everything else we do, it'll get people to buy products maybe for the first time. But it's the product that we're about the second time. So what drives more than anything else? It's just excellent, it's just creating products. It's just a wow every time you use it. We keep doing that, we're creating our products now. They're just like, oh my goodness, my dad could only see these products, you know. He'd be so proud of us. And it's easy to tell people, hey, you got to try this product. It's really good, the new one. So we, we, we're, we're big fans of all your stuff and also your company. So uh, glad to have you in Scottsdale. Well, I tell you what, it doesn't get any better than this. And Drew chose me to work so hard. You were alongside the new one. all the heavy lifting, right? <laughs> well, my next question is the best one. Which car do you have your eye on? Which, oh, which I, no, no, I don't get into that. <laughs> I, uh, I, try, I, I try to be neutral. I don't even say, oh, he's one of those guys. Or one no, of those no, no, no. I'm just you know? trying to help you bid a little bit. If you're sitting back in the corner, I'm going to yeah, come get you with yeah, that car. I tell you, block. I have learned to love every car. I, when, I, when I meet people with, with, the, with the cameras, it, the car starts out, it may not be something that I'm terribly interested in. By the time the person gets to tell me why they love this car, that car has become beautiful. There you go. <laughs> and I'm emotionally connected with the car, so I love them all. <laughs> if you see something you like, you want to take a little oh, closer yeah. look. Just oh, like yeah. I, oh, I got my badge. I'm ready. <laughs> I, I'm good to go. Thanks again. Thanks. All the best. Have a great day.